Hi, my name is Lorraine Watry and welcome to my studio. I am a watercolor artist and I've worked with watercolor for 26 years now and I thought I would start a new series of videos where I go over different tips, tricks and techniques for working with watercolor and hopefully these short videos will help you in your journey and if you have a question or a technique that you would like to see please comment below and I will try to accommodate that in a future video. Hi, this tip and trick video is going to be about the towels that I have now switched to. I used to use Viva paper towels for my watercolors and really like them. I like the smooth ones because if I needed to lift some color off of my paper, it wasn't going to leave a mark with a possible uh, pattern that might be on the paper towel. And they absorb really well, they hold together really well. So it's not that I don't like the Viva paper towels, but I just realized that I wanted to um, affect landfills uh, less and uh, the trash less and so instead of using uh, paper towels that I throw away I've now started using uh, towels that I can wash and keep and so I found uh, at my local Target store uh, these towels that are um, Made by Design is the brand and uh, it's called Flower Sack Towel and uh, they are lightweight cotton, uh, they dry uh, quickly and they are um, pretty uh, smooth surface and um, I really like uh, how they work. So basically what I do, and I actually don't know if I had this uh, clipped and ready to go so let me see if I can slide one of these out was that once I got that set home, and this is a uh, count of four towels, so there were four in this set, and let me move that. I took the full-size towel, and you can wash them beforehand if you'd like, but I didn't go to uh, that uh, step. And so, nice big towel, and I left it folded and I will um, actually fold it again so there are four layers here one two oops one two three and four and very simply I went ahead and cut this way and cut that way and I have from one towel I have four smaller pieces and then, uh, because I have a sewing machine, I went ahead and stitched to the edge and sewed that up. But I would imagine if you don't sew, you could um, just use it with a raw edge and not worry about that edge. Or maybe use um, a hot glue gun and just fold the edge over and uh, glue the edge if you'd like it to have a little bit more of a finished edge. And so now these are ready to go and I can wash them. Um, and it's a good size because it's very similar in size to uh, the paper towel that I used to use. It's a little bigger as you can see, but it's not um, uncomfortable to hold. It, it is comfortable to hold and um, it's ready to go. So uh, the other thing that I have now also done is I decided that uh, with some of the pigments that I use, um, a few of them are uh, maybe have some chemicals in them or um, are a heavy metal like cobalt is a heavy metal and one obviously you shouldn't be ingesting them you shouldn't um, be putting your brush in your mouth or touching the paint and putting your fingers in your mouth but I just decided that it might be wise instead of holding my paper towel with my bare hand like I always used to that I might go ahead and use a glove um, and hold the towel that way. So that way I just know that I'm a little more protected. And as you can see, going back to the towels, this is a used towel. It's kind of a tie-dye look to it. And um, some of this color will come out, but a lot of the color remains in them. And I just use them for oh, I don't know, maybe a week or so, and then I go ahead and wash them. And I would probably put them in with your, your darker colors in case any of the pigment does come off. You would want it to not stain something 
that um, you have in the wash or you could wash them by hand. I think the last time I washed these, I just washed them in my sink by hand and got some of the color out and, um, and then uh, they're ready to use again. So they, I have uh, three of the set of four right now um, going that I'm using for paintings and that have color in them but um, I can always go ahead and pull out a white one if I feel like I need a, a nice clean one to use on a painting to make sure I don't get any color onto the painting possibly. Um, but in general, I'm really happy with these. I've lifted color um, off of paintings with them. They, they clean um, my brush and actually they probably take out a little more water off of my brush than the regular paper towels did. So I'm having to adjust to that just a little bit. But um, overall, very happy with um, the flower sack towels made by um, Design, the, a Target brand. And if you don't have Target in your area, you might be able to look these up and order them online. So I will put the um, information about these uh, on the bottom of this video under the information. And um, I hope you'll give it a try uh, just to possibly lessen the... Um, amount of trash going into our environment and uh, I hope you will uh, like and subscribe and if you'd like to see uh, future videos um, tips and tricks for watercolor please um, let me know if there's something you'd like to see and I hope you have a good day. Bye!